Hey y'all, welcome back to a new day. Um, I am headed to UPS to drop off. I'm returning Buster's a collar I got that was too wide and too like stiff. I'm returning that. I gotta run to Lowe's because our light went out. The one that's under our microwave above our stove. That went out, so I have the bulb. I gotta go find it. And while I'm there, I may look at their mom's. And I may, may run to the thrift store. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I kind of am in the mood. I'm trying to look for some. I need some fall florals <laughs> for my mailbox for my front porch. But I really don't want to go to Hobby Lobby and get them because they're just they're gonna be outside so if I could thrift them that's what I really want to do plus I have some of my bins I need to look at too but while I'm out I may run to the thrift store we'll see um, but that's what I'm doing now most importantly is to return this package and to get my light for my over my stove <laughs> That thing, let me just tell you. Okay, so our microwave is the kind that goes over a, a range. So it has the vent and the lights and stuff. So I was like, man, my light won't work. So I took the little cover off and went to remove it's the bulb, the way they have it in there, it's in an awkward position, of course. And so I went to take the light out and it, it broke and left the socket still in there. I was like, oh man, how am I gonna get this out? I knew there were ways to do it and this and that. So I unplugged the microwave. I got on YouTube and a guy showed where he put painter's tape around the bulb and then he put uh, rubber bands going two different directions over it and then he stuck it in there and he was able to screw it out. Well, that semi worked for me. I was able to get it out enough that then I could just, you know, finish unscrewing it out. So, why they put it to where it's pointed backwards is beyond me. They should have put it to where you screw it in, you know, facing you. But, they didn't consult me on the design of it, so of course it's wrong. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, I'm, I've got to go figure out what kind to get and um, get that back because I I did not realize how much it's needed. Um, and when I took the cover off, oh my Lord. So I cleaned that, I cleaned my little um, vent thing. So all that's clean, now I've just got to um, put it back together. So I'll get to it with y'all later. Hopefully I'll have something to show y'all. I'm not real sure yet, but hopefully. Ta-da! I did it. Now I gotta clean up this mess where James was cooking him a, a grilled cheese sandwich. I got some meatballs and barbecue sauce in the slow cooker just to have something to snack on for later on. Um, I'm trying to have this stuff on the weekends kind of snack on so we don't order out and spend all that money. I gotta clean my mess, but let me show you what I got at the Goodwill. This is the only thing I've got is this purse. I really, really like it. It is so soft. I don't know if it's real leather. I don't really care, but it has this middle pocket where I have my wallet and it zips. And then this side, this also zips. But what I liked about it is I can make it a crossbody bag or I can carry it like this. And when I'm thrifting, I like to have crossbody. And I thought this would be a pretty color for fall. And I paid $7.99 for it, which I thought it was well worth it. So I hadn't bought a purse in a very long time. Well, in fact, this is the last purse I bought. <laughs> I could put it up, it was this one. I think I paid $5 for it. And it's been a good one and I'm gonna keep it, but I just like that one for fall. Oh, welcome back. Um, we have a busy, busy day ahead of us. 
when you're in the truck. First of all, Buster got a new collar and it glows in the dark. It's so cute. You like your new collar, bub? Do you like it? He's actually going to spend the day with my mom and Bebe because James and I are going to help one of the kids. They're getting a new mobile home and um, before it can be delivered, there's some limbs and stuff that has to be cut out of the way. So that's what we're headed to do since I'm dressed like in my old slouchy work clothes. Um, so we had a busy day of helping them and we wouldn't have it any other way than helping one of our kiddos. Hop up. Huh. Are you so excited to get to go play with Bebe? See them ears perk up. <laughs> he loves Bebe. And we love her. And thank y'all so much for all your love and concern about her. She's fine. When my mama called me that morning about, or texted me about it, I said, did she get a frog? I mean, that was like my first, I said, I bet she got a hold of a frog. Because we had a chihuahua years ago that got a hold of one and dang near killed him. <laughs> um, but I never knew frogs were so toxic to dogs, but anyway she's she rested that whole entire day and then by that evening that night she got up and ate and drank and then mama said she had the zoomies so she's back to 100 percent spastic <laughs> and we wouldn't have her any other way because she's just she's our heart she's family and we love her and uh it definitely scared us all and it let my mama know just how much she loves her not that she didn't know but you know what i'm saying it's not sometimes when you have a scare um it really like oh my goodness but anyway she's doing great buster's gonna go play with her today and while we work so hopefully the lord will be kind to us and will let us where we're gonna be be shaded and let the breeze blow and that's what we're praying for so y'all, I am loving money purse. I ended up taking the middle section out. Um, and I like it better without it, but it's a nice little leather bag, but it has these parts on this purse where you, it was just kind of like um, snapped on it. So I took that out and I really like the more relaxed, um, the way the bag is more relaxed and it honestly took a lot of the weight out of it. I really don't have anything in my purse except my wallet. <laughs> y'all. I cannot wait to share with y'all what I got. So I didn't film it much yesterday. I think the last thing I told y'all was we were going to help the kids with some, some their property. They're getting a new mobile home delivered in about eight, seven weeks. And so that we got to work on some of the property, like getting some limbs out of the way, set the power pole, all that kind of stuff. And uh, when we left there, we went back to their house and you will not believe what I got. I cannot believe what I, now this is the same ones that give me a whole bunch of stuff. It was a couple of years ago. Um, they moved into this house that just had all kinds of stuff. The family didn't want it. They were just getting rid of it. And so I got so much good stuff, vintage stuff, and there was more. And so I went and got some more yesterday and I'm gonna show you what I got, oh my gosh. And y'all, it was all free, free, free. And just wait till you see what I got. So, first things first. I got this big vintage roaster. This is the real deal. This is not the reproduction, this is the real deal. And uh, I cleaned it up. All this stuff was filthy, y'all. It was in a shed. It was covered in spider webs and mud and dirt. I was out there digging through all of it. I didn't even care. Um, got this. I got, y'all, this. This was full of just leaves and dirt and junk. Look at this. I know. So I got that. I got this old pot. Again, it was just full of junk. But look at this. Is this not gonna be the perfect pot to put a plant in? I don't know. Just wait, y'all ain't seen it all. Y'all just, I'm, I'm blowing your mind with this, okay? I'm just gonna blow your mind. Um, in some of the stuff I got, this was buried in it. And it's just a lid, there was no other part of it. 
but um, I was thinking sometimes you can find the dishes that the lids are broke or this would be pretty in a little vignette. I don't know. I just washed it up and cleaned it. I just can't bring myself to get rid of it, y'all. It is just so pretty. And I can't remember what this glass is called. Y'all have to remind me, but I got it. It was in something I'm gonna show you outside. I got so much stuff outside to show y'all. It is unreal. Um, got this bowl, again, covered in mud and dirt. This is a um, anchor ovenware mixing bowl. How beautiful is that? I love the pretty blue color. Got this bowl. We used to have the Corel dishes. This is Corel. Oh, this is Pyrex. We used to have the Corel dishes that had this green around it. Anyway, this is a Pyrex bowl. Got that. It was filthy, y'all. Filthy. Got it. I've got this. How cute is this going to be in my summer decor? This cute little bowl. I loved it. Grab that. I only seen one of these. These uh, Courier Knives plates. Now, it does have a chip here. I don't care. I don't really have this set, and I don't really buy it, but it was free. So, I'm going to put it up, and I'll bring it out um, probably in my summer decor. Okay, I grabbed this. Now, this was a light. I took all the guts out of it. This is the bottom of it. The top comes off. And my plan is I'm going to Lowe's and I'm going to try to uh, get a, I got two different plans if the first plan don't work. I want to do a chandelier bulb thing in it um, and hardwire it so I can put one of those little flame flickering bulbs in it and use it outside. If I can't do that, then I'm going to just um, connect the bottom to it and then I'm going to just set a candle in it. But I really want to hardwire it and put it outside on my front porch um, as part of my fall decor. This thing was so full of junk. It was disgusting. But I just knew it has so much potential. So I grabbed it and that's what I'm gonna do with it. That's my plan. So if the hard wiring with the light socket thing doesn't work, then I'm going to um, put a candle in it. But we're gonna be going to, imagine this, we're going to Lowe's today. I know, <laughs> I need to go to Lowe's anyway. So that is all that I have inside. Now we're gonna go walk outside. I have some stuff in my little shed on the, in the back and then I have some stuff in the garage and I think you're gonna be blown away when I show you what I've got. Are you ready? Well, let's go. Okay, so first things first. I've got two things in my little storage shed and I have one thing here and I'm gonna show you that. First, let me show you. Let me get the things out of my storage shed and show you those. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Now, I know this is rusted through. I don't care, but look at this. Can y'all just see it full of some plants? And then this. I have a smaller one like this. Oh my gosh, I just love them so much. And I cannot wait to get some plants and put in them. Now this one, I won't like plant it in there. I'll just set pots in it because of it being rusted through. Oh, I just love it, y'all. Okay, let me show you another thing. So this is a box. This is the bottom of it. It was rotted out and it was full of ants. So I put some ant poison in it and it was like, they were even down in the side. So I've just set it here like this and we're gonna have to put another bottom on it. But this is the front of it. Of course, you know, this is the bottom, like I said. But look at that, the handles. I love it. And I can just see this in my summer decor. Oh my gosh, love it so much. But y'all, we hadn't even seen the good stuff yet. Can you believe it? There's more. There's more and it just gets better. Oh my gosh. Okay, y'all. I got this bell. It's cast iron. It is heavy. Um, let me move the bell off because I want y'all to see this. I have three milk cans. That one's the only one that has a lid. These two don't. I'm keeping this one 
and I'm gonna seal it so it doesn't rust anymore, but I'm keeping it in that state because I just absolutely love it. So let me just um, take the bell off so I can show you. Look at this amazing milk can. Oh my gosh, I love it so much, just like it is. So I will be keeping this one the way it is. Can y'all just imagine a beautiful um, pot of mum sitting on top of that? Oh, I just love it. Or a fern in the spring and summer. I got this old first aid kit. I took everything out of it. Um, so I got that. I got this old toolbox and it is rusty goodness. Can y'all just see some plants sitting in this? I just love it. Okay, I've got that. I got this old box, look. Perfection, y'all, it's perfection. Um, I got this old box, just an old shed, y'all, we're just in a shed. Okay. And then these are the other two milk cans. That one, and then this one. I love them. So y'all let me know, do I leave them like they are? or do I paint them? My gut is telling me to leave them as is because it just adds to the, the look of it and the patina. Um, so y'all just have to let me know because I love all this. I love all this rusty, crusty goodness. It's just, oh, just makes me so happy. I did clean them up some in the vacuum. Dia was taking some of the flakes off. Um, so y'all just have to let me know. What should I do, paint them or leave them? These boxes are not getting painted. I am going to scrub them out real well. Um, and the bell's not getting painted. Whoever, I think I'm going to sell that. I don't have a need for it. So whoever gets it can do what they want with it. This is staying as is. Perfection. So, yeah. This is going on my fall porch. I'm getting excited to decorate my porch for fall. So, this, oh, I love it. Did I tell you? Oh my gosh, and it was all free. Free. All it needed was a little bit of elbow grease and cleaned up, wiped down, get everything cleared out of it. And now I'm so excited to decorate the front porch for fall because I'm gonna use my new light, or new to me light. That milk can, I had the old wine barrel out there, or whiskey barrel, whatever you wanna call it. My big, beautiful galvanized buckets. I mean, I just can't wait, I can't wait. And they have all these pumpkins and this gourd. Y'all remember these? These were the pumpkins I thrifted and then I did a paint technique on and sealed them. That one, this one, and whoops, the stem keeps wanting to come off of that one. And this one, these were all thrifted and I did a paint technique on them. All I did was paint them the Waverly Chalk Paint Pumpkin, the orange. Then I went over it with some, you named it, dark wax. And then I sprayed a sealer on them. And that's it. That's all I did. And they look so real. So, highly recommend that. If you want some real looking pumpkins. And if you buy pumpkins at the thrift store, it's not your color. Maybe you find them in green and black and purple or whatever, you know. You can always paint them. And if they're a decent price, you have to kind of know your prices. Because sometimes they'll mark them up when you can actually get brand new cheaper at Hobby Lobby or somewhere, so just keep that in mind. But if you find them cheap at the thrift store and they're not your color, you can always paint them. 
and they look so real. Buster, Buster, where are we going? Where are we going, Bob? <laughs> where are we going, Bob? This is a man who loves his wife. <laughs> I bought a lamp at the thrift store, what, two weeks ago? Anyway, I paid $3.99 for it. It was as is, and of course it didn't work. So we have literally taken this lamp apart. And now we've got to try to figure out if we can rewire it and make it work. Now this lamp will not be for sale. My mother wants this lamp, and I'm not even sure she's gonna get it after all this. She might not be worth the trouble, huh, James? <laughs> Plead the fifth on that one, James. Plead the fifth, because she does watch these videos. I didn't say it. Anyway, we're trying to figure that one out, or he is. And then we did get the stuff to hardwire this one up. But we've got to cut, well, James has got to cut this off. Yeah. This and once, stuff gets me every time. What, James? This wee stuff gets me every time. Well, once he cuts this off, then I can do this lamp light by myself. That one, I, there's no way. But we did buy new parts for it somewhere. So we will see. We will see if this works. <laughs> and I did cook it. I just fried him some okra. And James, could you eat it? Pods were dried out too much. We let it sit up there too long. I'm sorry. I tried. Mm -hmm. Do I get A for effort? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Buster's over there in his bed. He had an episode last night. So let me explain the episode. So what I mean by episode is he has a bad back leg that flares up every once in a while. It's very common in chihuahuas. Um, and I do have medicine on hand that the doctor has given me for when he doesn't have a flare up. It's an anti-inflammatory and a pain med. But I let him stay with my mama yesterday, um, you know, to play with baby. And when we went to pick him up, I noticed he was favoring that back left leg. And by the time we got home, he couldn't stand up. And of course my heart broke into a million pieces. I was so thankful that I had that medicine because I wasn't sure I had any. And it was, of course, a weekend. And they don't have any vets on call there. And we would have had to went to the emergency vet. But I had some. Thank you, Lord. That was an answer to prayer because I was praying all the way home. God, please let me have some of that medicine. Please let me have enough medicine for at least two days, you know. And I did. And um, he rested while we did, while I cleaned up all that stuff that I got. And then um, I went in and got a bath. And then I put him up on the couch with me. And he was so pitiful, y'all. So pitiful. I did text Cody, Delana, and Sarah and get them praying, you know, helping me pray. And then um, I put him up on the couch with me. And then it's time to go to bed. And I couldn't decide. Am I going to sleep in the recliner and let him stay in his bed? Or am I going to try to let him sleep with us like he always does? You know, I just didn't know. But I prayed for that child, <laughs> that child, y'all hear me? <laughs> y'all know. And I mean, I got on the floor, I was praying for him. And so I took him out, I carried him outside to let him do his business before we went to bed. And he was able to stand and walk on it. He was limping, but he was better. And then James was like, well, in the morning, you know he's gonna be stove up and it's gonna be bad again. I'm like, Phew. well, he woke me up at 3.30, we went outside and he was walking even better. And then he woke me up at 7.30. I think it was 7.30, around 7.30. We went back outside, and he was walking good. He's doing good. He did get another dose of medicine. And we're just going to kind of let the soreness go away. And I may give him one more dose tomorrow just to be safe. And uh, But he's been fussing at us and letting us know what we've been doing wrong. <laughs> at me, James. <laughs> So he's getting better, but oh Lord, did it bother me and scare me. I do not like it when there's something wrong with them. But anyway, that's what I mean by episode. So. All right, look at my sweet husband, y'all. 
James, how are you gonna get that back in there? One thing I can try. Oh, uh, you gonna thread them on and then pull it through? I'll try it. I don't know if I'll be able to do it or not. Well, worst case scenario, we have to ditch the whole electric part of this lamp and it just be like candle holders. So, you know, we can put some of those battery operated candles in it. But we'll see, we'll see. To be continued, y'all, we steadily working on it. <laughs> I'll let you know. There's your sweet boy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Are you pouting because daddy went out in the garage and didn't take you? Are you pouting? Y'all, look what James did. He did it. He fixed the lamp. Isn't this the cutest little lamp? Now, we do. I'm going to be looking for some globes to go over this. But if I can't find any in the thrift store, then I'm going to probably order a couple off of Amazon. But this is the cutest little lamp. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. James totally rewired it. He worked magic. Now, I would get different bulbs. But this is just what I had for the sake of just seeing if it worked. And it's so cute. It just needs some, some globes. And it would be finished off and be perfect. All right, y'all. That's going to do it for me today. I love the lamps. Um, I've put the pot out on the front porch with my fern in it. I love that. I've got some ideas of some things I want to do, but I'm just running out of time. And this video is getting too long, so we'll pick that up tomorrow. I've got to get the chicken um, finished and painted for the booth. And I've got, I've got an idea for something I want to change out up there with all my rolling pins. I'm going to try a different look. I got an idea. We'll see if it works, but that's going to do it for me today. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with us this weekend. We love y'all and we will see you in the next one. Bye y'all.